Wow. Sanctuary City? Sanctity, Mother. Are we sure this is a good idea? Doesn't matter. Uh, we must find Victor. And... And we need to tell the captain about the disciples. It's, well, it's going to be hard to do any of that if we get arrested immediately. How do we even know Richter's in here? We, um... We don't. But how else are we going to find out? Uh, I guess. Jeez, that's a lot of people. I know. Isn't it great? LT, go ahead and shut off the cameras. Yes, I'm sure. Oh, here we go. Cameras are off. Do your worst. Oh, it's nothing like that. Don't worry. I just want to talk. That's all. Mind if I sit down? I've already told your butt buddy earlier that I... Yes, yes. Just a frustrated inner taking it out on a checkpoint in a First Fleet destroyer. Exactly. Uh, Can I call right. you Richter? How do you... You're in the big leagues now, kid. It's one thing to mess with a First Fleet checkpoint, but it's quite another to show up with fighters and bombers that don't even show up on radar. Let's just say you've attracted the attention of those that matter. You can call me Admiral Trajan. I'm part of the Admiralty. You've got no idea what you're talking about. Drop the act. My colleague back there has no idea what he's looking at, but it didn't take long to cross-reference you. Lieutenant Richter Sterling, deployed to TFD under Admiral Sharps, and then resigned his commission, followed by radio silence. Look, we both know who you work for, so let's at least drop that part of the act. We also know that an EFN bomber has crash-landed not too far from here, 
and considering the scuttling charges, well, I suspect the pilot survived. The wreck makes that much clear. A shame none of its important bits survived. I would have loved to see a shielded sickness. Mr. Sterling, I'm trying to prevent a major incident with your EFN. The UCIS is making our best efforts to stabilize the system. But we can't do that with a vigilante super battleship gallivanting across the system. Oh my god, Smegma, this, th this burger, look, it looks like an actual burger. Well, I, I mean, we're in, we're in inner space. I imagine they can probably afford real meat. Micah, did, did you try this? Something is odd. Can you not taste this? Uh, I mean, it, yeah, it tastes like a burger. Have you not had a burger before? Except I've made burgers. What are you talking about? Have you not tried my burgers? Well, I mean, yeah, those are good. Those are, bur oh, well, yeah, those are mother burgers. Yeah, I mean, this is a burger, but yeah, this is beef. This is like, this is actually what beef really tastes like. What do you mean, beef? Do you not put meat inside a burger? This was living at one point, then harvested and then made into a, a beef patty. This is like, this just, is real. You're just messing with me. Oh, howdy! Uh, excuse me? It's a wonderful day, isn't it? How's your day going? You're not from around here, are you? Uh, what are you? What, uh, um, um, I am, I am not. Uh, how could you tell? People are not usually this upbeat or excited. Uh, war footing tends to do that to people. Huh? But, but, y oh, you mean the expeditionary forces in the outreach? Uh, yeah, sure. TFD, uh, the war with CPR. Is that what they're called? You don't know who the. Hey, Mike, C the pirates in the reach are called CRP. CPR. Oh, wow. I didn't think they had names. By the way, you see that AT won the first round of Zero Polo? Yeah, man, what an upset. Are they running best of three this year, or...? Nah, brackets, single matches. I swear. Mono if Monolith get pat matched with the Mallards out of the gate and go straight to eliminations... Oh, excuse me. Uh, um... What were you talking about? Man, you really aren't from around here. The Monoliths got matched with the favorites of win last year, completely blew any points they could gain. Yeah, 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 I mean, um, CPR, being pirates. You mean CRP? Firstly, Admiralty was sending out a small force to quell some pirate activity in the outer reach. How about the savages? <laughs> savages? Yeah, uh, I heard most of them haven't even stepped on a planet. <laughs> yeah, Steve said they live in artificial gravity their whole lives. Yeah, huh. Who could imagine that, huh? I bet that's why the Admiralty sent an expeditionary for out force out training. Nah, they do it because they're bored. Who could blame them? If I could get out of this city... Ugh. Are you... Are you stuck here? Stuck? No. Then why don't you just leave? Yeah, I... there's, there, there's water out there. Come on, there's boats. You can go on the beach. There's so much you could do. Why would I want to go out there with the Outsiders? That's how you get shanked. Necra? Holy shit! Richter! Holy hey, Richter! Hey, man! Are you okay? Hold on, let me check. You're not wounded, right? Are you- are you wounded? Are you fine? Uh, You're fine? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, man! I see you found some grub. How did you get free? How did you get here? I gave him the old switcheroo. You gave the first fleet the slip. Really? You betcha. Mother, how are you liking the inner system? It's absolutely wonderful. I somehow have no doubt that. What are you on about? I'm saying something stinks. It's always something, huh? What's your problem with me? Oh, come on. We just got... We just found each other. And we're gonna do this at the first thing? He's never been a fan of me. That's nothing to do with this. How did you just conveniently escape? What are you saying? I think you know exactly what I'm saying. I think it's a bit convenient that the biggest fan of the First Fleet also happens to meet Magical Houdini himself out of their custody without even so much as a scratch. Guys, um, please, let's 
not do this here? Or how is no one looking for you? Well, for your information, sir, I told them who I was. And that's this is all just a big mistake. They caught me at the station as it all went down. At first, they thought I was EFN, but I'm still on record with TFD. They bought it. Wrong place at the wrong time. Right, right. Okay. There. Good enough. All right. Let's go. Come on. Chop, chop. We have attracted enough attention as it is. Come. Come on. Go. I understand what the Eternity is trying to do, but I fear that the Eternity just doesn't understand us. For whatever reason, her, her captain has chosen to vilify us when we really should be allies. Are you even worth being allies with the track record you have? Yes, we have a few blemishes on our record. Who doesn't, really? EFN wants peace? We offer that. EFN wants stability? That is what we stand for. EFN wants to prepare for this uh, EDF threat? We've been preparing longer than anyone else. We do what needs to be done to achieve these goals. Our actions, no matter how heinous, are justified by our results, by the outcomes. A future that is worth living in. So what you're trying to say is, the ends justify the means. Uh, an often misunderstood statement. I'll just point out the quality of life in the inner system. And then, as you've seen, the Outer Reach. The Outer Reach is a shithole. Very eloquent, Richter. We'd love to stick to our ideals every single day. But sometimes we have to make tough choices. In the end, the citizens of the inner system live good lives. Safe lives. That is our job as soldiers. To shield them from the horrors of humanity. That is our burden to bear. Mother, this is suspicious. Come on, stop saying that. It's Richter. He's Mekra, for the last time, I just want to get out of here. Can we go over this later? I don't want us ending up in jail. <clears throat> well, we then want? stop acting suspicious and let's go. Go to the beach all together. That will calm everyone's nerves. Not, not my nerves. It's water. Oh, would you look at that? An ace hardware. Wonders never cease here. Wait. Ace hardware? What is this? Is this related to Captain Ace? Uh, no. Well, uh, let's go see it. Do we have time for this? Of course we have time. We have all the time in the world. You you two behave. Let's just, let's just be tourists, okay? We only get to do this once. Come on, Fine. inside. Fine. Hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, Howdy. Uh, hi. Weirdos. M Ugh. Mother, why do you keep saying howdy? You've you've never said that before. What do you mean? I saw this documentary on on the E. It was talking about this man. It was was he good? I think he was bad or maybe ugly. Oh God damn it! Uh, m mother, uh, we're in the inner system and. Generally, people tend to mind their own business throughout the day. It would probably fit in better if we just not greet everybody we see. All right, partner. Have you noticed, Mecra, how everyone kind of looks like you? Kind of freaks isn't, me out. Isn't that kind of a good thing, though, Mother? It's a Mac. I saw one on that documentary. It was... Oh, look, it moves. Howdy. Oh, there was this you... amazing documentary on the E. It was animated and stuff, and everyone was fighting in space and on the ground with lasers and mechs. I know mother, these things. Mother, mother, mother. We're yes. in the inner system. Ah. Wait, it transforms into a fighter, though. I know that much. Uh, does anyone want inner filet? I, I want some. Hey, Richter. How does it feel to be home? 
complicated. You... did you grow up on a planet? Um, mostly a spacer. I grew up on a station. We traveled between other stations for my parents' job. I can relate to that. I... I didn't really know my parents either. It was always tough to make ends meet. Eh, <laughs> it, it wasn't that. My dad was very... He was a very well-regarded Navy captain. Mom was quite the beautiful aristocrat, always at his side, greasing the gears for his next deal. We went there where, wherever his career needed him. Not only did you grow up in the inner system, you had a spoon in your mouth the whole time. Bruh. He's your fellow sailor. No, mother. He's right. After I turned 18, I did everything in my power to make him proud. Joined the Navy, went to officer school, signed up for all the classes, even the substandard ones like infantry training. It was never enough. Eventually, I transferred to TFD. I, for the first time, went to the Outer Reach. And you know what? It scared me. Well, apparently the Outer Reach are just a bunch of barbarians. We scare you? We're not good enough for you? No, no, no quite the opposite. It, it scared me how determined you guys were. How willing to put it all on the line. How you've been in war your whole life. And yet, you still keep going. Remember, first deployed TFD, the best and the brightest. And we lost a battleship in a week. They forgot what an actual hardship looks like. That's eventually why I eventually left. Why I've been looking and trying to prove myself. All right. You know, actually... No, no, I get it. Everyone on the crew from the Pioneer has led a more intense, tough, and grueling life than I, have, than I could have even dreamed of. I get it. I need to earn it. We need to get moving. We stick out. You know, I tried to tell him. The crew, that is. I tried to tell them the TFD, First Fleet, we, well, you guys, meant well, and that we simply all want the same thing. I suspect the crew didn't take that well. No. They're convinced there's some plot here, some manipulation, some deep-seated conspiracy. Uh, well, I'll admit, there's always some manipulation to get the outcome we need. Justifying that future you talked about. Now nah, you're getting it, Mr. Sterling. Home Depot. I don't know what a depot is. Why? So the red ones are first fleet? I think you got that one wrong. Uh, the, the gray ones are the first fleet. Wait, aren't the gray ones just people? And that would be the white ones. Oh god, this is so confusing. Then what are, what are the red ones? Those would be the TFD guys. Why are you guys so confusing? And then there's all the mecha clones, I guess. What is that? We need everybody to stand back. Stand back. Let, let the forklift do its damn job. Keep that damn thing on its stabilizers. You can't even do that right. These guys are just as incompetent as us. What do you think, Mother? Hangar operations? Yeah. I've seen my fair share to know. This is definitely hangar operation. Hey, guys, check it out. That ship right there, could see it from my cell while they were holding me. It lands once a day in the morning. They, they spend all morning loading and unloading containers, and then it takes off. Maybe, maybe we could get into a container, load up, and get off the planet? Let me get one last breath of planet air. I don't know how long it will be before we get another one. Especially one with water. Hey, Richter. Since we're gonna be here a while... No. I know what that voice means. You're honestly right. I don't really deserve to be on the E. There are many more deserving than I. I... I... I joined up like you after years of 
really not doing much at all. I was never really the smartest, the brightest, or skilled either. I just sort of coasted through the Naval Academy. While the Outer Reach invasion was going on, I was drinking Clang Cola and having a good time. But didn't you get on the Borodino? I did. Well, that's something then. The cans value skills in combat. You're... you just don't blame yourself. Mother... I got on the Borodino because my best friend was transferred to the Sneck. He solely recommended me because I was his friend. I never deserved any of this. I got into the Academy because of my family. I got into the Borodino because of a friend. I fought on that ship for two hours before it got wrecked. And then I got on the Eternity. And then you've made a name for yourself there. What I've done is take K-Max's position without earning it. Now he's gone, and the whole crew is looking to me for advice to fly the ship to be K-Max. Dude, I look up to you. We all do. But which is why it's such a fucking sham. I don't deserve it. At all. The ship stopped. I think we're here. We're not Eternity. We can't just mold the system to our favor. We exist in the real world, in a delicate balance of power. There is no room for choices that let us sleep well at night with hundreds of thousands of lives on the line. Everything we do has been in the pursuit of a noble goal, protecting the inner system. And now, Pioneer as a whole. We've sat by idle for too long. So, what do you need me for? Uh, we just want you to be an intermediary, to put an end to this madness. You want me to talk to the captain? Yes, I do. Either to get him to see our way, or to stand aside. You know he will never stand aside, for the same reason that First has never either. He doesn't know how to. Uh, I figured as much. Look, we are so close. We came to the Outer Reach with an olive branch, and what we found was shocking. We always presumed that we were setting it up for success, for self-governance. And what did we find? A faux democracy willing to kill and assassinate, with a history of betrayal, constant warfare, and all of it to achieve more nothing but more power. There's also a faction built around a military dictatorship, manipulating multiple factions to turn on each other, all to simply improve their position. A faction, at the mere suggestion, willing to betray their allies for a simple chance at glory. Too easy. CPR, Pixie, and the Riders. Very good. You know, I'm sure with a bit of coaching, we could make you into quite the captain. Or more. I will do whatever it takes to save the system. It appears we have one of the few men left with honor in this system. Captain Brock will never yield. He has his mind set on you being the bad guy. Uh, bad guy. What a quaint term. So, Mr. Sterling, what will it be? <sighs> what will you have me do? That starts with your friend, likely in this very city, trying to report back to the Eternity. Well, you mean friends. Two of them. A pilot and a wizzo. Oh, well, there you go. That'll help the search a lot. If they're here, I can find them. Oh, yeah? Should I just let you loose, then? Keep Marines nearby. I'm not gonna run. Eternity is not all that it's cracked up to be. I've been repeatedly questioned. <laughs> I've been mocked. Well, well. I think this will be quite the relationship, Mr. Sterling. Yeah, I'd count on it. <laughs>